Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Godsmith, and you're watching All in Wrestling, the premier wrestling show that focuses on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, 205 Live, Impact Wrestling, and many more. Okay, here's tonight's video is going to be about SmackDown, and I usually don't, I don't usually talk about SmackDown. I just give a review, watch it, give a review, and give you guys what you want. So here's what's kind of bugging me. So, you all seen the attack on Miz at Fastlane, which really is going to make them break up or turn healer on each other. Something's going to happen. And I kind of feel like, this is what I mean, and I'm not even, and the first thing I'm talking, and this is what I'm talking about, the first thing. I don't, Shane McMahon being healed is just so, it's, it's dumb. It's so dorky, because like, why would you be healed if you, you had a tag team title run with this dude? Really? Like, it's not even, it's really kind of sad because I'm like, yo. Like, this dude wants to turn heel. Daniel Bryan's heel. And then Kevin Owens is a face. Kofi's a face. Like, really, dude? And I kind of feel like that's going to be, that's really super lame, man. Like, that's OD lame right now. And I kind of feel like... Dude, what are you trying to do? Are you gonna make the life like make the life of the Miz the living hell and have a WrestleMania match, which really isn't gonna solve anything? Cause it's not. And it's really not. And I kind of feel like that's a waste of time and money and effort. Cause I feel like yo, like this is the point I don't understand with the WWE. It's like. Either somebody has to go heel to go face, and, like, somebody goes heel, face goes heel, and then goes face. And then this doesn't make sense to me. Like, I can understand for Miz if he wanted to do that and make his own be a singles competitor, which really isn't the baddest thing on the planet, and it's not. But. It's so damn stupid. Like, this is what I mean. Like. Like, and this is, and I'm also going to talk about the Raw thing, too. I'm going to make another video. But like I said, I just, I don't, I don't see the point. We're having these dumb cluster crap of a matches. Like, dumb crap matches that don't make any sense that are going to end up being squash match. That's, that broke my back, bro. And I usually don't got no beef with SmackDown, but really? Like, come on, man. And I'm just, I'm just saying, like, for real. It's getting really kind of dumb. It's getting kind of retarded, too. It is. It's getting dumb. Like, you're going to have another... You're going to have a match with this dude at WrestleMania 35. And then Batista and Triple H are going to have their freaking feud, which doesn't make any sense at all. To a point, and it doesn't. And I'm like, yo, and that's what I'm... I'm talking my Raw review, but, like, come on. Like, y'all gonna have a match at WrestleMania 35. Then, freaking Usos are gonna have a match with the New Day. That's gonna happen. Kofi's gonna get a world title shot. That's gonna happen. Kevin Owens is gonna get a rematch clause, because that's gonna happen. Then, then the funny thing is, the dude that was supposed to be in the match, I mean, they're gonna make it a fatal forward, which is gonna be cool. And then Oscar's gonna probably face Ronda Rousey, because that's gonna end up happening at some point. And they're probably not going to make that dream. They're going to make that dream match a reality at some point. And like I said, this is, just my, this is just my predictions. But like I said, this is not a preview. This isn't a spoiler. This is what I've been seeing the last four weeks, five weeks of SmackDown. Like, I'm done. I'm done, dude. I'm, I'm done with the Daniel Bryan being a heel. I'm done. That dude is so, like, and that's the funny thing. Even if we expect that dude to lose, somehow, and out of, he's a great wrestler, but somehow, out of nowhere, that dude still retains. And that's what gets me mad. Like, you make that dude a heel. It didn't go well the first time when Kane came back to do Team Hell No. It didn't work. Like, bro, I get the fact that Rowan is the, the muscle, but that's all you have for him. But Harper's gone, though. Mysteriously, that dude's gone because we haven't seen the blood. So the Bludgeon Brothers didn't even have a good tag team run. So that was a waste of money and effort and time. 
And then what really bugs me is the fact that the revival they want to release, they want to be released, and they and they have the freaking Raw Tag Team titles. Really? Come on, man. Like, come on. Like, what is going on with the WWE? Yo? Like, what is going on with the brands? Like, either Raw is doing something stupid, and SmackDown does something amazing, which they are gonna do. But really, y'all gonna really? No, mm, 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 no, 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 no. I mean, I can see the sweet profits doing that because they're on NXT because they're not really getting a lot of TV time and air time. I see that, but not the revival, bro. Y'all got it. Y'all finally got them belts on your waist. I could wait for the street poppers to come in there, get Mustache Mountain, get only Lurchin' Burt, Lurchin' Birkin, you know, and Lurkin. Like, I really, I, like I'm saying this, like, and here's my thing, right? I get being healed is a cool thing to do at some point to be a badass and to be a bad guy. But if it's not your character, if it's not your persona, then don't go with it. Like, Shane is not a heel. That dude was okay in the Attitude Era being the heel because it was Vince McMahon and the corporation and the corporate ministry working with that because that was the that was the stick because they had Stone Cold and The Rock to deal with. But not if you got Miz, Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, Randy, Jeff, Sam- Joe, Kofi, Mustafa. No, 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 bro. No, no. And I mean no because... The reason I mean no is the fact that why on earth are we dealing with this? Like, that's my point. Why on earth are we going through a guy that has a great title, like, that has a title run? But for some bloody reason, to a fault, they can't get it. And this is what I mean. Like, it doesn't work. It worked for Neville when he was here because he was tired of being the face, tired of being the good guy. It works for Johnny Gargano because it works with Tommaso Ciampa. It works for Tommaso Ciampa because he ended up getting the NXT title. I get that. But to, 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 phrase, a, to, to phrase a point, to phrase a point, it just doesn't work with me. It doesn't. Because the idea of, like, I can see a heel championship. I can see a heel champion. I can see Dolph Ziggler being heel. I can see freaking Drew being a heel. But not Shane. Because it's laughably funny. Because it is hilariously funny. Because I'm thinking, yo, why? That's what I'm thinking. Why should there be a heel dude in the first place? That's my thought about it. Like, that's my bag. And I think it's really kind of funny Shane being a heel. And like I said, I'm also gonna and I'm but that but that's pretty much it for that bit. But my and now it's time for my favorite bit. Is the which is the Charlotte and Becky thing. And you know what? I'm done. Like Charlotte and Becky, I'm fine with it, but I really want Becky and Rhonda. That's how I feel. Cause Becky, like, yo, I really feel like she still won and she still gets an opportunity. Because the thing is, Steph is not gonna get rid of Becky. She's not. She's not gonna get rid of Ronda either. And you know what? Ronda being the woman that she is, and she is a really good, she is a great wrestler at her caliber, and I believe that. But Oscar, I feel like she's a better opponent for Ronda because she never faced Oscar, and she's not like Shayna Baszler because Shayna Baszler's an idiot too. Because I, I feel like she does a lot of bit, a lot of things too. But she's not really dropping that title to Bianca Belair because it's, it's not gonna happen. It has to happen first for her to drop it. And I get that shtick, and I get the idea with Kyrie Sane trying to be the woman like Oscar, and I get it to the to the to the T, and I get it. But here's my thing, here's my beef with that. Like, if Shane is gonna drop it, then she'll drop it. But she's not gonna do that, and that's what I mean with Maya Yim. She could drop it to Maya Yim and be. Maya Yim could be a dominant force. It's just that they're not really giving her the time to really be a dominant force with a character because she's trying to be China. And China was just somebody that just didn't give a shit. And that was the thing, too. And I like the Attitude Two era didn't really kind of play with her because she all she cared about was winning. That was it. She won the Intercontinental title, which was cool. 
And I think that title is unisex because both women and men can win it now. And I feel like that should there should be a women's intercontinental title or a women's U.S. champion or a women's cha- world heavyweight champion. I really do. I really feel like that because we broke the WWE broke that ground with Alondra Braze being the first women's champion ever. And the thing is, the women's champion has been passed down from generation to generation, from Alondra Blaze to Boom. N- Nakano? Yeah, Nakano. To from Bo Nakano. From Ivory, from Jacqueline. To Molly Holly. To Victoria. To Trish. To Tori. To Michelle McCool. Like, everything. And that's what I feel like. Even the, even the, even the Lita. And Lita made the, the women's champion a big thing. And the WWE took all that history and just said, listen, we're going to make a Divas champion. You guys are not considered women and y'all Divas now. But now, the Diva 8 is done. And the Women's Champion is back. It's back where it needs to be on. And that's what I mean. And this is what I mean with SmackDown. I love it. I like the idea that some people are going to be heels. I like the fact that Daniel Bryan is a heel and Kevin Owens is a face. I like that bit. Because I feel like Kevin Owens has a little bit of a, little bit of a plan now. It's a little bit easier for him to do what he needs to do. And it's not that bad. But the realization is... Where are we going to get the guy to run it? And that's my point. There's a bunch of guys. Even even in the world today. Even now. Even in the world today. Even in the wrestling today. And this is what I mean. Like like I said. And that's like, that's like I said. But anyway. I'd rather see Becky versus Ronda. Because... Charlotte, Charlotte is fine being at SmackDown, and I feel like her being on Raw is kind of stupid, because it is, and it's like kind of reigniting the fire, they are the rivalry that they've already had billions and billions of times, and that's how I feel about it, and I kind of feel like Ronda beating Becky and Charlotte in the same night would be better for them because that kind of gives them a little bit of breathing room to say, you know what, when the draft comes, you know what, Becky, you're going to Raw. Charlotte, you're staying on SmackDown. Ronda, you're staying on Raw because we got you for Raw. You're staying there. And Oscar will probably stay on SmackDown because the thing is, they're going to make Oscar and Ronda fight probably at SummerSlam or near Money in the Bank where they can make that dream. That's the real dream, man. The Becky versus Ronda thing is only a one dream match for WrestleMania. It's like a what-if dream match. And then you know in the tag team, you know in the tag team development thing, and I'm I'm gonna talk about the tag team division too. And I think the Usos beating McMiz is kind of stupid because you know what the Usos y'all already had a run. I need to stop. Like give everybody, give another tag team a chance to have y'all goals. Just like the New Day broke a record. Y'all didn't break that record. The New Day did. The Bar didn't break it, but they get they get a breathing room, and that's the thing I'm talking about. Like, I get the Usos want to be the dominant tag team, and I get it. But, bro, y'all don't need to be. There's no point for you guys to be the dominant tag team. There's no point. Because the thing is, if there was a way, like the bar, I could see them being a dominant tag team. I could see them doing it. I could see an undisputed era with Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly being better on main roster than NXT. I could see the Street Profits do it one, maybe one year, in one year time. And maybe, and I can see them do it because the two puppets are not bad. They're just, their teamwork is kind of off. They're kind of, their teamwork is off par. That's what I feel with that. And even with the United title, even with, and I mean this, because the United title is not a bad championship. It's not. There's, it's just having the weirdest, having the weirdest reigns are different because even, even Dean Ambrose having it for 340 something days was cool, but. I just don't I don't see it, bro. Like it it would the United the United States title was a major belt because Kevin Owens had it, Roman Reigns had it, and Chris Jericho did. And I feel like now because there's no point, because there's no simp, because there's no breaking point for Joe. And Joe could have had a championship if they pushed him a different way. That was my point with them. And I don't hate Joe. I just feel like him being pushed to be United States champion isn't your isn't your card, dude. 
You being World Heavyweight or Universal is fine. Because that's the thing. I wanted you to beat Brock Lesnar, dude. I wanted you to beat him. And I feel like the Universal title can change hands with Seth. Because Seth is the ultimate guy that we don't think is going to happen. But it is, though. That's what I mean. Like, even with the even with the Ruthless Aggression era, and I'm actually going to make a reference to that. Remember, like, even with the, like, when they had the Ruthless Aggression era and the United States title was on SmackDown, that like sucker was defended more times than anything. Booker T had it. Mr. Kennedy had it. Carlito had it. Like, all these dudes from the Ruthless Aggression era who came in, and they had it. Then it wasn't, and, it, and Chris Jericho had it once, and then The Miz had it, then they got into it, then Matt Hardy had it, and he was a, a bad U.S. champion. He had it. Then Randy Orton had it. Selton Benjamin, being the gold standard, he had the United States title for a bit. And they don't never talk about that. That's what I mean. Like, with the Ruthless Aggression era, like, with Raw and SmackDown premiering and beating each other in ratings every week after week after week after week. That could have happened. Even if Paul, even if 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 Triple H wanted to go to SmackDown and become the guy that he could have been, and I see it a little bit because he could have been something. He could have been something. He could have had it, but I realized why. Because Evolution would have never existed. Because Batista would have stood would have stayed with Rick. Batista would have became WWE champion. He probably would have had a decent career. He wouldn't have had to go to a Evolution to build up his career. Because I feel like Evolution was just something to build up Randy to make Triple H the leader. And I feel like him having a faction was kind of stupid. Because it was like, dude, you had a faction. You had D-Generation X. And I realized, like, after that time period, like, after the Ruthless Aggression era. And him having that rivalry with Sean, which was the dumbest rivalry ever. Bitter friends. You know, best friends. Bitter, you know, bitter, bitter enemies. And I feel like that's kind of stupid. And I mean this in the nicest way I can think of it right now because I'm, I'm 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 digging up a lot of references as you guys know, I'm digging it up and I feel like, I just feel like there's a lot of things, even with today, even with everything that's happened in WrestleMania 35 this year, everything, and I just feel like, I I I love wrestle I love Fastlane and I love WrestleMania I do and I just feel like that match, that match with. It just doesn't. It just doesn't sit with me. Like I could, I could see Seth beating Brock. I could see that happen. But Triple H and Batista going at it again. Like, dude, it, there's no point. Even with him doing that, them doing them, just the freaking promo, the promos they were doing at each other, and it wasn't even the fact that he he came out. The dude came out with a security team, and that was the dumbest thing ever. Like, dude. You don't even, and this is what I mean with Triple H. Like, bruh, you want to fight Dave because of the fact that that dude beat up Ric Flair. I get that. I get it. Like, I get that gist. I get it. But I'm going to talk about that in my next video. And the thing with the world title situation, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this nicely, I'm going to say this best as I can. Daniel Bryan needs to be done. That dude needs to get his ass whooped. For real, I don't want him to. I want him to lose because he doesn't need to have that title on his waist. I, I don't want him as a champion. I don't. I'm done with the gimmick. I'm done with the heel. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so tired of that dude bragging and bragging and bragging and bragging. And that's the thing that gets on my nerves with SmackDown. That dude brags so much. It's ridiculous. And I'm sorry, but that dude needs to go. Joe would be a better champion. Even Jeff would be. And he doesn't even brag, man. That dude proves it in the ring. And I get it. And I want Kofi because he, he deserved that championship after 11 years. And that dude could have had it. But he gets sidelined every time he gets a big shot. That's how I feel. Like, I don't want that dude to be champion. I don't want A. O'Brien being champion. Doesn't mean I hate the guy. Doesn't mean I don't want him to be. But to my point, to make a point, I don't want that dude to be champion. I just don't. Because I feel like him being champion doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Not a lick of sense. 
I don't want that dude to be champion. I don't even want that dude to be champion right now. Because the joke is, for him to be champion, for him to make the money that he did, like, for him to be the guy that he is, it just doesn't sit well with me. I don't hate Daniel Bryan, and I'm not making this a rant video on him. But why is that championship not being dropped right now? That dude should have been dropped. That championship should have been dropped freaking before, after Elimination Chamber, that junk should have been dropped. And Randy should have took it too. Because that's what I mean. I don't want Daniel Bryan to have that title. I don't even want Randy to have it. But I want that champion to be, I want that belt to be defended every week. Not just on the pay-per-views. And that's what AJ did. He made that belt become relevant again. Because it was being defended on SmackDown rather than the US the, 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 the Universal title not being defended on Raw every single week. And if I was a Raw guy, I probably would have I would have fought Brock Lesnar again and again and again. Every match we would have had, that title would have been retained. Not and that's what I mean. This is what I'm seeing with Daniel Bryan. That dude shouldn't be having that championship right now. But anyway, guys. Like, comment, subscribe on this video. Peace.